Hi guys and welcome to the All Things Tennis review of the brand new Yonex Percept. So the new Percept launches on the 25th of August, available in the UK. We're going to take you through the whole range of rackets today. We've got some brilliant pros with different levels, different playing styles to test out the rackets today and see what this new racket is all about. So this has changed obviously from the V-Core Pro. The major differences in the frame is you've got more graphite around the hoop of the frame, okay? That translates it to feeling a little bit stiffer, a bit crisper on impact, but definitely a bit more of a powerful frame, okay? Their tagline for the Percept is all about creative control, okay? So it's gonna give you a little bit more than the V-Core Pro did, a little bit more pace, a little bit more spin, able to move your opponent around. It still, for me, maintains that amazing feedback you get where you've got a really nice connected feel. So what I mean by that is when you're placing the ball and hitting the ball, you get a nice dwell time on the frame and you can really feel where you're putting the ball. You feel like in complete control. They have changed a few things about the frame. So there's a brand new frame in the 100D, which is a 100 square inch frame and an 1819 pattern. So a completely new frame in the lineup. Let my play testers talk you through how they feel. But from my kind of feedback, instantly hitting the frame, super crisp on impact. That's what I felt. Whereas the V-Core Pro was softer and that translated maybe needed a bit more stability in the frame. I think they've solved that with extra graphite in the top of the frame. I might even look at the 97D, which is one I didn't look at before. Let's get our play testers in to give you a talk about the frame. Start off with Pete, who currently uses a V-Core Pro 97. He's tried out the Percept today. Is he going to go for the 97 or a slightly different model? Okay, so here's Pete, a big favorite of the All Things Tennis channel. He currently uses a V-Core Pro 97. You can see he's got a lever grip on it. He needed that extra weight, okay, in the frame to make it stable. But you mentioned with this new Percept, you found that stability was there really because it's a little bit stiffer in the frame, is that right? Yeah. Put the leather grip on just to make it a little more whippy because um, I hit reasonably flat. Just having that little whip means I can get a bit more on the ball. Um, with this one, returns, I didn't really have a problem at all. It, it came off super solid. Even I uh, hit some, obviously not out the middle, and, uh, and they were going in pretty well as well, so I really enjoyed that. Um, but a very crisp racket. This one was a bit muted and a bit soft, which I do like, um, and it was very point and shoot, but this one's a bit more crisp, which is kind of, I'd say, a bit more traditional Yonex. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. I use the 95D for ages, which is what Vavrinka uses, and I still have a ton of them at my house. And I kept gravitating back to it for years and years. And this one feels more like the 95D than this one did, so it's a very crisp feeling, tons of spin. Um, but just, just all in all, I, I don't really have a fault with it. Obviously, as it was brand new, it took a little bit to get used to and warm up this morning. But then as soon as, it, as, soon as you, you get used to it and get into it, it just it feels like sort of the best of the Onyx rackets sort of combined. I, I think it's gonna I think it's gonna sell and be a, a, a very sell well and be a very good addition to the line because it is different to this. I think this one won't be as string sensitive. I think this racket tended to be a bit string sensitive. I've, I've messed around with stiffer polys and um, and hybrid it and, and I found the best one for it. It took quite a while to find actually but this one I think you could probably use pretty much any any poly in it. Uh, we've got a Polytor Rev in here, which is a string that I didn't get on with in this racket, but this one, it seemed to, to fit really well. Talk us through touch shots, feel. The V-Core Pro line is mm. known to be a super control orientated, great for feel frame. How does this compare in, in terms of being a little bit stiffer? Yeah, it's very point and shoot. If you aim cross court, it's going cross court. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't quite catch it, you might miss, but it is point and shoot. Um, you don't get the free power that you get on the E-Zone. You don't get the free spin like you get on the V-Core. But what you do get is if, is if you know how to hit your shot, it is going to go where, where you put it. So for you, you tried both now today. Is yeah. it kind of a potential swap on the cards? No, it will be a swap, yeah. It will be a yeah, swap? Yeah, 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 straight swap. I'll put a leather grip on as well to see how that plays. Um, might not be necessary, but yeah, it, it'll be, for me, it's just, it's, it's going to be a straight swap, yeah. There you have it, a big yeah. tick from Pete's side. Yeah. Going from the V-Core Pro 97 to the new Percept 97. It was the most obvious choice. Yeah. You found this one worked for you. Yeah. More stability in the frame, slightly stiffer feel. Yeah. It's worth noting. I like that. It worked for Pete, yeah. so a tick. One out of one so far for the Percept. Okay, we're joined by our second play tester. Here's Rich. You describe yourself as a bit of an aggressive baseliner. Yep, 100%. Massive serve, massive serve. And you come into the net. You can do it all, basically. That's well, what we're saying. A lot of people say that, but <laughs> that's, 
So Rich currently uses the E-Zone Tour from Yonex. So probably a little bit more free power from E-Zone Tour. Probably a little bit more of a whippy racket. Quick feeling racket. Trying out the Percept today. What have you kind of settled on as your favorite in the line? Uh, I definitely prefer the 97H, that's for sure. Uh, just feel like it feels a little bit more like my personal racket. Same string pattern, obviously slightly different head size, but it definitely feels like I can get that little bit of extra free power from this racket, that's for sure. Talk to us, E-Zone Tour, obviously spin friendly, stable, powerful. When you picked this up and started playing for the first time, what was your immediate feedback from the frame? Um, straight away, felt loads and loads of control off both forehand and backhand wing. Uh, volleys felt really nice and crisp, actually. I was, I was quite surprised with that. I have used the previous version, and it definitely felt like I was not as in tune with my volleys in, in that last one. But this one, definitely much better up, up at the net. Playing a lot more doubles now, especially yeah. just got back from county week, um, play, where I've Volleys are obviously so key, especially on the grass courts. Um, definitely would be more than happy to play with this in a, in a doubles match, that's for mm -hmm. sure. Um, again, it just feel like so much more control. Yeah. I, I feel like I'm not, not getting as much free power, but I can feel like I can stay in the rallies for a lot longer, that's for sure. Um, on serve, felt brilliant. Really, really nice. Actually, lovely plush feel. I have been a guy to have a little bit of arm issues, and I'm pleasantly surprised how nice it actually felt on the arm, mm. which uh, is always a nice bonus for someone like me who's had slight arm issues in the past. Yeah, okay. And you mentioned you tried these models before in terms of the V-Core Pro. Yeah. What would you say major differences are with the power set compared to the V-Core Pro? Feels a little bit stiffer, just yeah. ever so slightly, uh, especially especially up on, on the forehand side. Back end, I, ju it just felt exactly the same, but on the forehand side, it je de definitely felt like I had a bit, a bit more stiffness in the frame. Um, it just it just felt so so nice to be fair off the backhand side. I generally felt like I couldn't miss with it. Yeah. Uh, playing playing with uh, some of the guys today, that's for sure. Forehand side took me a little while to get used to, mm -hmm. but eventually found my timing with it, and it just yeah again just felt really nice, controlled like really nice pros frame. Yeah. So the tagline for the percept is creative control. Yeah. Do you kind of subscribe to that? Is how it feels on the court. Hundred uh, percent. It's again you can really kind of pick your spots really well with it. Um, again, pl playing the guys today could really kind of make sure I was really trying to put them into the corners a little bit more. That's for sure. I wasn't wasn't maybe winning as much free points, but I was ha I was definitely being able to kind of construct the points a lot yeah. better. That's for sure. I think that's the right word with these kind of rackets. It's about constructing the point. You're not going to get amazing free power that you would do with an E zone. Hundred percent. Yeah. But if you've got that feel and that control, you can move your opponent around, work angles. At the net, these are amazing rackets. For me, it's a better volume racket than a knee zone or a V-core. Touch-wise, it's right up there. But even with this, I was still getting quite a nice nice little whip on, on the yeah. out-wide serve. You, obviously, being a lefty, you've got to use that uh, as often as you can. And even, even on the T serves going on the, on the juice side, I was still getting quite a lot of spin. And the kick as well, I was getting a lot of kick off, mm. off this racket, that's for sure. So they're strung up in Polytor Rev, around 52 pounds. What did you think of the string setup in the racket? It's quite, it's quite nice. Um, I'm used to Polytor Pro. Yeah. Uh, that's why I normally, yeah, and I normally go quite a lot high, tighter as well. I'm normally around 58 pounds. But having it a little bit lower, I think with this Polytor Rev definitely suited it. Mm. Uh, just to help get that little bit of extra power off this frame, yeah. that's for sure. I definitely string this in the low 50s. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if it, it was a really nice string, definitely uh, something I might even try testing in my E-Zone. Mm. Obviously, get, getting a, such a privileged chance to try all the Perset rackets today. It was uh, definitely one that I might have to consider trying to try and switch to. Perfect. Okay, there you have it. A big tick, and it's the 97H, which was the winner on the lineup here. Now I'm joined by Aaron, our third play tester today. Aaron's a futures level player, amazing technique, great movement, and a massive serve. You currently use the Wilson Pro stuff, yep. so 97. Is that stock? Yeah, uh, straight out of the shot. 315 yeah. grams. The old version, though, all black. Okay, like V13, yeah. So the Percept is, is probably Yonitz's most similar range in terms of the pro staff range. It's more control orientated. You have to bring your own power to the frame. It's not going to give you easy power, but it's all about control and feel. So you've tried the range today. What was the kind of one that stood out the most in terms of being the most easy to play with, the easier transition for you? I'd say the 97D. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed using that racket. Um, I'd say most people come with a premeditated view of Yonex because of the, the shape of the frame is not a classic racket shape, I'd say. But, I mean, the flexibility, the power you get on it, the ease of the arm, 
uh, I think all great and visually it looks ridiculously nice. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Good. yeah, interesting the feedback. I'd say with this kind of Percept line, it, it does play nice and soft on the arm. I think the V-Core Pro, as its predecessor, was softer. With this frame, they've made it a little bit stiffer. So if you haven't used the Vehicle Pro prior to this, this one is a little bit stiffer. But talk us through ground strokes, single-handed backhand. I think this racket suits that. Hand. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I've got quite a modern single-hander, so it's wristy and loose. And I think the racket just complements that, uh, particularly when defending. I know Partridge was slapping some into the corners today, and I can just use, I can just guide it, and the racket does the work. Um, yeah, I think that's the main thing I've taken away from today is the the percepts, just the ease of the ease of playing with it is um, yeah so rewarding. Yeah, and then in terms of your forehand, a bit more of a whippy style. You yeah. kind of western in the grip, would you say? Yeah, um, again, pretty wristy. Guess yeah. that's just me all over. <laughs> um, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. And although I've complimented its defensive uh, acumen, I'd say coming forwards as well. Getting a volley, low volleys particularly for me, it's just so easy. Flowing through the ball, and you get a lot from the racket as well. It yeah. shoots through. Walk us through serves then. Big flat down the tee, yeah. and you've got the slider out wide. Yeah. What did you like hitting about with these rackets? I mean, flat tee is a personal favourite. So um, again, it's just the pop you get off the racket. I've never really felt anything like that before. And I think you'll see it in some of the footage. Um, the speed you get off the ball is fantastic. Mm. But yeah, again, with the control, yeah. you can hit those sliders, you can, you can really vary it up. Yeah, so big fan of the 97D. Yeah. What, hey, we're joined by Dennis, our fourth play tester today. Talk us through what rackets of the Percept shone for you today. Which was your favourite model and why? Uh, today I played with the um, Percept 100D. Uh, I thought it was a good racket because I managed to find my ground strokes quite well today and I managed to find some good touch and some good hand skills yeah. with the racket. So you're a big whippy left-hander? Yes, I try my best to be. Shapovalov type of style, yeah. Lots of spin, big slider out wide on the serve as well, mm. big serve. So how did it work in terms of this racket? It's probably not the most spin friendly of the Yonex line, but it's known for its control and feel. Did that kind of translate to how it felt for you? Yeah, I definitely felt it was quite a spinny racket. Yeah. I felt that like um, I could hit quite a lot of topspin with the ball, which I was quite happy with. Um, but yeah, I feel like it was good from the baseline, but definitely maybe a bit more power, but it was yeah. pretty good overall. So the 100D is 305 grams on strong, so quite similar there. But 1819 pattern, which is a little bit unique, you don't see the many of those. How was it in terms of that denser pattern for spin production control, like the launch angle off the strings? Uh, I thought that like the, the racket was quite good when it came to getting the ball over the net. Mm -hmm. I felt like I didn't have to struggle or like do anything more yeah. or extra to get the ball over. But um, I definitely think that it excelled on the lower, lower shots over the net. Yeah. It didn't really like to be too high over the net. Yeah. It definitely liked to be lower. So the launch angle is yeah. a bit lower, close yeah. to the ground. Yeah, I wouldn't say it suits like a super whippy player if you think more V-core line for that. Whereas this Percept is that control over the net, lower kind of, the Percept is going to be launching officially in the UK in retailers like All Things Tennis from the 25th. We're going to have demos for you to come and try it, give it a whirl. It really worked well for our play testers here today, so I'm looking forward to your feedback and the comments down below. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Please hit the like and subscribe button and we will give you more exclusives like this today. We get it before anyone else. Make sure you subscribe so you can get these videos nice and early.